had, you had a slightly larger slice than yours than I did in mine. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, but you see, that I've been given a lot of terrific songs. I mean, singers like myself who don't write rely very heavily on people who do write. And fortunately, there are people around who write songs who don't necessarily record them themselves and want an outlet. And, you know, here I am. But, I've, I mean, I've ended up with songs like Devil Woman, Miss Unites. I still rate my first ever record, Move It. I really think that was possibly one of the first rock and roll records made outside America, in Europe and the rest of the world. Well, it's, it's considered the, the first real British rock and roll that, yes. that absolutely equaled what the Americans were doing. I don't know that's that... how the place it sort of has in, in musical history. Yes, I, I don't know that I've ever checked up to find out if it actually was, but I like saying it. It's <laughs> so a great I, opener. No, yeah, it's a great intro. So that's the one? Yeah. No. No, it's oh. not. No. <laughs> Now, I mean, it has its place, as you say, but I still think of all the songs I've been given, uh, because I'm a pop rock man, I love Devil Woman, because it has all the facets, I feel, that are right. It's got the great guitar riff, it's got a, a good chorus line, and then it tells a story. So that when you come to take the record and do it on stage, you've got something to work with. You know, a lot of songs like Living Doll, I could almost phone it in. Yes. So, Devil Woman is the one? I think no. so. No. Or it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, I think it is this okay. time. This, I have to ask these questions. I've got to clear them up because they say, you didn't ask him, you didn't ask him. <laughs> um, you were having a go recently at Madonna. No, I wasn't. For using her sexuality yeah, what I in, get in her... In her. I do, uh, I do get asked these things that they should ask the Archbishop or the Pope, really. And then what happens is, <laughs> well, you know, what happens is that they ask you a question and you give your opinion, and the next thing you know, there's this bold statement like you've called a press conference and said, mm, by yes, the way, did you know? This is what <laughs> yeah. I think. I, mean, I know, I know, I, I know, I know, I know. But that's why television's so good. You see, I mean, I always find, that, and you're going to quote the Madonna thing, I, I just find it disappointing that, uh, see, Madonna actually sings well. She's made some great records. I saw a, a concert on video once, which was fantastic. She dances well. She acts well. Uh, and so it just disappoints me that she feels she has to resort to some of the things that she does, you know, which I, I know now everyone talks about the fact that she likes to shock people. Well, I suppose that works, but I always find it disappointing that an artist needs to do that. But because she must believe, actually, that she can't do without it, and I don't think that's right. But I saw you weak. I saw you wiggling your hips and doing sexual moves over there just oh, I now. You, you, didn't I? Yes, well, I mean, you know, I have to watch myself now, but uh, the thing about doing... The whole, whole of life is sexual in that we're built, men and women, so that you go to a, a concert of mine, for instance, and probably predominantly it will be female. I'm not suggesting that they're all there sexually going frantic for me, but if you go to a Living Newton-John, it'll be predominantly men. That is what life is about. You don't have to uh, do anything other than be a man or be a woman, and you will be attractive to somebody. I mean, I'm sure that makes sense and so rock and roll is da about dancing and so I, I perform dancing if you found it attractive I'm thrilled <laughs> how do you respond to the old cliche Cliff you're too good to be true it, well it's I suppose how what can you do about truths <laughs> You really are asking for it, aren't you? You really are. I am. I mean, he's brought up the absolute worst in me. Uh, that's right. Oh, well, I get the blame. Yes, that's right. He's that's right. Right. That's right. I take the can. Uh, I, I feel... It's both in Labour, this I've, sp <laughs> <laughs> I've said, I've spent... Uh, since 26 years ago, I became a Christian, and so my lifestyle took on a whole new look and feel for me, which I really enjoy and uh, I feel it's the right thing for me to do. And I've spent nearly all that time saying to people, you can't, the media do want to put us into bags. They want to compartmentalize us and say, well, he's the goody two shoes. And for a little while, it was Bob Geldof and I had the weight taken off my shoulders for a little while, you know? <laughs> he was Saint Bob for a while. But, but he kept swearing and that was what <laughs> I got You gotta do that, that. swear no, I know, I know. <laughs> but but, <laughs> but I've, I've been saying to people, it's crazy, if, they, if people actually believe that people myself, like myself are too good to be true, they just don't understand human nature at all. Nobody is perfect, nobody. All I wanna do is show my best side rather than my worst. There is a side of me that I don't like and I try to, What's, it, what's the word sub? What's it? it? Um, subdue um, sub it. Sub uh, sublimate it. Cover sublimate. it out. Yeah, sublimate. <laughs> I <I'll> cover it. <laughs> and obviously, I succeed. <laughs> So uh, I, it's, a, it's a side of me that I, I don't want to share necessarily. And I guess a lot of people just don't understand it. And so I get labelled with the goody two-shoes. And it just means that I, I don't cuss and swear at people or, or, or perhaps I'm just nice with people and they consider that. What I can't understand is though, that it is a kind of reversal of things, isn't it? So that nowadays, people like myself, it's a derogatory term to say oh, the goody two-shoes. It's in other words, trying to be right and good mm. is becoming 
a thing that you deride and laugh at. No, I, I, I don't think it is that. I think it's everything is a derogatory term in the modern media. I think the sneer is the, uh, is the expression of modern journalism and yeah, they have no right. other expression. And so if, 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 if they say you're a goody Christian, then they'll sneer at that. If they say I'm a ranting, raving lefty, which, you know, I don't think sums me up remotely, but they'll sneer at that, you know, that so, whatever. Oh, yeah. I think it's just any, anything that can be, you know, they'll find something, they'll sneer yeah. at it, you know. I, mean, I think you're right, you know, now I never thought of it that way. Mm. One last <clears> thing. I read in the paper the other day that you're worth 45 million, is that true? Well, I wish it was true. My, all I know is that when my accountant read it, he wrote me this little cryptic note, <laughs> faxed it to me, and it, it simply said, please don't spend it, I have not found it yet. <laughs> well done, hey. Now, just before we go... Cliff Richard's new album is called Cliff Richard, The Album, Brilliant. and he's brought a cassette for everybody in the audience. <laughs> I said, you're the seventh wonder of the world. Long may it continue. Good to see you. Go off and make a new album. We'll take a break. Cliff Richard, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Dane. Dennis Dane.